Today is another day in Valdez, Alaska. We are excited. It is definitely like overcasty today, which is very, very normal for Valdez. <laughs> so pretty. Valdez is very rainy and like overcasty most of the time so that day we came in was like just crazy weather for them which is why it was like so crazy and like there was people like everywhere. Today we're going to go to the waterfall we went to on the last one and kind of like hike around there or maybe find a different waterfall to go hike towards. I am going to have Lance take some pictures of me <laughs> which seems very like vain but um, I have the Buff Bunny backpack that I have used throughout this whole trip. Actually, I have two of them. I have one as like my diaper bag, and then I have one that is like kind of my electronic bag slash like my purse. So I'm gonna have him take a few pictures of me there and just some like Instagram pictures. You know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me here. I like to post more like daily things. Anyways, we're going to go probably get something to eat because kids are always hungry. And then we're gonna go find the waterfall. got some fun pictures. Natalie climbed in the creek at the end of the waterfall. There's like this tiny little creek over here. She lost her sandal. <laughs> so we're gonna go get her boots. Hopefully you can hear me here. It is a little bit windy. I have failed at vlogging today. It's kind of been like a not really any plans day. We're just kind of hanging out, but they are doing some more fishing right now. I threw the drone up to kind of get some shots. We went to the waterfall and like took pictures and it's just, it's just kind of been like a just relaxed day. and It's been really nice. So Lance's dad and his brothers all came down here too. They're staying in a motorhome, but they came down here and they're all doing a fishing charter tomorrow. Hopefully I will have some footage of that if he gets some videos or and or pictures. Um, they are fishing for halibut tomorrow. So really excited. Hopefully we can get some fish to put in our <laughs> in our cooler back here. That's what this is. Doesn't look very big, but it's pretty big uh, cooler. That's why we bought this whole extension thing, so we could fit everything in the car, but they're doing some fishing right now. I did want to mention that Old Town Diner that we went to, one of you mentioned on Instagram that we had to try it, so we ended up going there for lunch today, and oh my goodness, such good burgers. Probably one of the better burgers I've had. It had like um, like a lettuce and tomato with sauce on it in the bottom. You know, it wasn't just like a plain like meat cheese burger. And then the kids got to pick a little like toy out of the little chest, which is like just a really cool personal touch. They are down fishing. I came back to the hotel. Addison had to go to the bathroom. I haven't even told you guys, but she decided to potty train like a few weeks ago and is like 98% potty train which is crazy but she is kind of picky on where she goes to the bathroom I mean like she stayed dry the whole drive up here which is crazy we did have a bucket this is probably TMI but what we did for her was we had a bucket and then we had a bag lining it and then we had her little like toddler seat that we normally put on our toilet at home and we just put that on the bucket and she went to the bathroom in that and she stayed dry the whole time which was super crazy she just turned two in April and I have not tried to potty train her. I just like one day she just was like, I gotta go potty and she went and then just like started learning. Whenever I potty train my kids, I always try to make it really positive. I use POSM reinforcement. For her, I've done two M&Ms if she pees and then if she goes number two, she gets a lolly because I'm, I'm happy to give her a lolly. <laughs> if I don't have to change another poopy diaper ever again. <laughs> Anyways, that's mom life. All right, I'm gonna go get some coffees for Lance and his brothers, and I'm gonna go back there and hang out while they do some fishing. Do you wanna do some fishing? Yeah. You do? Oh yeah. Oh, I can't understand you with Passy though. Passy's next. Do you wanna go fishing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. You too.
today has literally just been spent just fishing. Like, they have just fished the entire afternoon. It took us until like 12.30 to really get going today. It's just been a really nice day to like rest and just just enjoy Valdez. So tomorrow Lance has that charter. I don't really know what we have planned. We might end up just like hanging out in that hotel room. The kids love hotels. <laughs> And I remember enjoying just like not being home. So tonight we are actually gonna go eat dinner over at my father-in-law's motorhome. Uh, I guess he has some steaks and stuff that he's gonna cook up and he's got like a full kitchen in that thing. So um, we're gonna head over there. Lance is at Safeway right now. I'm gonna go pick him up. Natalie had to go to the bathroom so we came to the hotel. What's really nice about Valdez is like everything is in within like a square mile, I swear. like. It's so tiny, like so, so tiny. So the hotel is like within two minutes of anywhere, which has been really nice because we don't really want to be using public bathrooms right now. So we're just not doing that. <laughs> We are still in Valdez. <laughs> Lance is on a charter today. So in Valdez, you have to have a fishing license and then you hire somebody to take you out into the ocean to go get halibut and then you come back and you process it yourself. For us, we are going to be using a place here locally that will process it tonight, package it all up, and then have it ready for us to pick up in the morning, which will be super nice because we don't have really a place to process it. Now, it wouldn't take very long to make it to be able to fit in our cooler, but then that's a whole nother thing because then we gotta like travel eight hours home and then go process fish. So we're just doing this we've never gotten a halibut before so we're we're kind of taking the easy way we don't want to like traumatize ourselves you know <laughs> it is already 1 15 and we have yet to do anything i was like we're just taking it easy this morning we're keeping it calm there's not a lot to do in valdez especially for kids so we are going to go find a playground and just let them go to town have fun and get some energy out If you come to Valdez, you've got to come to this park. This is like the most epic park I think I've ever seen. It is on Pioneer Street. Valdez is not very big. It's like at the back corner. It's actually in their neighborhood. And it is like super cool. And they have this little area for like little tiny babies and it's, and it's like decent size. Anyways, they're having a lot of fun. It is turned out to be a beautiful day and I'm so excited. I wanna go check out the waterfall that we saw when we first got here and fly the drone up there and see see if it'll fly in there. I'm not sure, it's kind of in a canyon. So um, I'm gonna to attempt to fly a deer waterfall. One of the coolest things that like I don't even think about is seeing the mountaintops on top of the clouds. Like that's just so crazy to me. I'm gonna show you guys. So over here you can see like there's a string of clouds and then that's mountain on top of there. How crazy and cool is that? I just cannot get over the view guys. All I keep thinking about is like, oh, I don't know why I was just starting to get emotional, but like how perfect of a day for Lance to be out on the ocean 
fishing with his dad and brothers than like this day. It has been cloudy and overcasty the entire time, except for that first day we came in. And just knowing he's out there and he's not like, obviously it's the ocean so it's pretty cold, but like, they're probably having such a good time. I'm really excited. I can't wait to see if he caught something. Okay, we're all done at the playground. We are going to take a little drive. I think it's about 20 minutes up the highway and go check out this waterfall. Guys, I, I felt like a kid on Christmas when we stopped because the air was just like so amazing. Like no, no ocean air I've ever smelt smelt like that where it was it literally smelled like um like the ocean breeze <laughs> like the smell it actually smelled like that and you could feel the mist of the waterfall and it was just it was it was insane so we're gonna go check it out That's the one we're going to. Look at that. Oh my word, that is so beautiful. Yeah, and the little tiny one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear me, but <laughs> this is called Bridal Veil Falls. One of the most beautiful waterfalls I have seen yet. It's just so gorgeous. They have this one, and then there's a tiny one over here too. If Valdez was like this every day, I think I would move here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the kids want to go check out the water. I didn't let him get on the other one because it was like crazy traffic and like a lot of people were stopping, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. in the room. Wow, I just realized I didn't put my lashes on today. <laughs> That's why I might look so different. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize. We got some snacks. We're gonna have some popcorn and they're gonna have some ice cream sandwiches and then we're gonna go pick up Lance and see if he got a fish. just text me. He got a halibut. I'm so excited. It doesn't sound like it's a very big one, but I don't even care. The whole experience of like going out and getting halibut, it just sounds super fun and just such a perfect day. Like we have the sign in front of us, but it's just like blue sky. It's gorgeous out there. I'm just so excited. He just texted me. They're almost here. So we're going to go pick them up. I think I'm going to try to drone them coming in. <laughs>
Okay, they were super tired coming back from there, which is understandable. I don't know if I told you guys, they have to be at the dock at 5.45 in the morning and then they didn't get back until like probably 6.30 or 7 and it was 7.30 before they got out of there. So it is a long day of fishing and it's, it's tiring, but they had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like Alaskan halibut adventure. I was excited, I wasn't even fishing and I was excited. <laughs> it was very cool to see the waterfall again today and like not be in such a hurry because when we were coming in, kids had to go to the bathroom and all that. We are going to the Old Time Diner. One of you recommended this and I think we went there, gosh, was it just yesterday? <laughs> I think it was just yesterday. <laughs> but it was very very good so we ordered food from there i'm gonna go pick it up we have to get ready for our trek home tomorrow again it's like eight hours with children so we have to plan for a long one i might even need to go get some more stuff at the store just because there's such a long stretch of nothing like there's no gas stations. There was one gas station for like so many miles. And guys, the, the, I should have got a shot of the pumps. They were like the old school where they like turn for how many gallons. It, really, really old pumps. I couldn't even believe they were still working. All right, I'm gonna go grab some food. Lance wanted to take the kids to the pool one more time because that's like their favorite thing about traveling which is super sweet because he is so exhausted. I did not bring my swimsuit at all because the hotel we had planned did not have a pool. I hope you guys don't think I'm like some bougie brat, but I should have got pictures and videos of the last hotel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that video. But we went to go check in and there was like a hole in the tub. Everything was just very old, probably like 50 year old stuff in there and including the mattress that we did not sleep on. <laughs> like we s tried to sleep, but it was just so, it was so bad. It doesn't have to be a super fancy hotel, but I have to be able to sleep because otherwise that's trip ruining. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. All right guys, it is the next day. As you saw, we just picked up the fish. Such nice service that they have here. I'm not really one that wants to like touch the fish. <laughs> <laughs> they have every service available. So the charter that he did yesterday, I'm gonna throw a link down below, but um, they took it out. I think it was about $400 a person, which is kind of expensive, but they're literally taking you into the middle of the ocean. So I think that's kind of a normal price for charters here. Um, it was a very nice boat. I didn't feel like they were in danger in any way getting on this boat, which was really nice for me, peace of mind. And he said they even like bait the hook for you when you are out there. So that's really nice, especially for women that like don't want to touch the stuff. I mean, I don't, yeah, I just prefer, just, you get so much more smelly when you're baiting your own hook. They went and caught the fish, they brought them here. After you come into the harbor, Fish Central will come grab your fish process it, then they'll air seal it, and package it, package it up, all that, and you pick it up the next day, all for, it was $116 for like 70 pounds of fish. So worth it, I know, I know it's kind of expensive when like you think about how much fish is, but this is like fish that they got to catch, there's memories, there's the experience of all that. I think it is, if you wanted to process the fish yourself, they do have a place right here on the harbor, like all throughout, where there's a hose and you can process your own fish if you'd like to. But they didn't get back, it was like 7.30 before they got done, like that would have been so much work for them. <laughs> and they were already so exhausted. So it has been a different Valdez every day that we've been here. And today is like completely just fogged out. So I think in Valdez you just kinda, it's whatever you get <laughs> for weather. But it was a very cool experience. Did you have fun? 
Yes, and I'm tired. I know. It was it was a lot of work. It, it's, it's a lot of work, like, just taking your family on vacation. But then he, had, like, went fishing. His poor face is very burned. <laughs> the rest of his body is not. <laughs> my halibut, face... I have halibut legs. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He was like, my legs don't match my face. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for coming along on this little adventure we had. I... I'm so glad we came. I'm really glad we stayed at the totem. Thank you, husband. Yes. <laughs> it was very comfortable. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. It is very, very expensive. But it, it made all the difference in our trip here. We were comfortable. We slept really good. I mean, I think we got like nine hours of sleep last night. It was just, it was very fun. And the kids got to go swimming. Just the whole experience here was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for coming along on our adventures. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.